so Kunal, first question for you. Is there a language barrier in this country? If I don't know Polish language, will I get the part-time job or no? So, well, I would say, I mean, if you don't know Polish, then then also you can work in okay. some of the options. There okay. are some of the options for students who are working here. Mm -hmm. So, it's not obligatory to know Polish to work as a part-timer. If somebody wants to start a part-time job here in this country as a student, what documents do they need? So, if you ask for Uber, I mean, like, uh, Food delivery boy. Mm -hmm. Then there are specifically three or four documents. One is like PCC, that's Police Clearance Certificate. Okay. That you'll get in a few hours. That's not an issue. Okay. Second thing, you have to have a bank account that you will have after coming to any university. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is like you have to have a Uber partner under whom you'll be working for this Uber Eats. Okay. So it's like only two or three documents are required, and you will get this job here easily. So, quick follow-up question. Which bank would you recommend to open an account? For me, I would suggest Millennium Bank because I have my own account in that bank and it's really very really good and you have the Millennium Bank application by which you can transfer the money from here to anywhere. You don't, need any, yeah, you don't need any other application for it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and for PCC, which is Police, Police Clearance Certificate, do I need some document when I go there? Um, basically, your passports and uh, your documents of your university where you're studying, uh, like ID card, and they need around uh, the fees is around 30 or 40 zloty, mm -hmm. and it will be done in like few hours. That's it. Yeah. Okay, instant. Coming back to you, can you explain us maybe using a piece of paper like you know per hour you can get this much, per week you can get this much, per month yeah. you can get this much, and this is what your cost of living in a month looks like and this is what you make. So I'll tell you how much a person can earn on an ideal situation if he'll be working for like let's say two days in a week, weekends because he'll be having or he or she will be having the holidays during that the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I can show you some statistics which I have gone through. Here we have like two days in a week if student is working. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's like weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So on an average like uh, you can earn 120 to 150 zloty. That's Polish zloty per day by working like a uh, few hours because in Uber you don't have to work for specific hours like it's basically a delivery job so per delivery you'll get some amount uh, for example 10 to 12 zloty so we have calculated on an average like you can get 120 to 150 zloty per day and for two days you can get 240 to 300 zloty so uh, on an average we calculated per month like 960 to 1200 zloty so this is an estimated average cost that students can earn if they are working only for two days Sky is the limit, more you work, more you earn. That's the uh, right, right. perception from my side. See, one of the important points here is it totally depends on, as I said before, how much do you need? How much you think is enough for you? If you think that your monthly expense is going up to 1600 zlotys, that means you got to increase the number of hours into working part time or ask your parents or get an education loan enough so that you can concentrate on your studies because Uber Eats are doing such side jobs which is not really adding a value to your current resume that's not what you came here for okay so the focus has to be sure I need to pay the bills try to invest your time into something which really brings value to you and for people around you ultimately what will happen by doing this don't forget the visa which you have got it has an expiry date so make sure that you spend every minute in a proper order and as per him uh, I think as you were saying that a lot of lot of students find this kind of job very easily that's yeah. why they choose that but I think that shouldn't be the goal try to spend I mean you're doing other things right yeah, I mean, yeah. you're not doing Uber Eats yeah I'm not doing any, doing any job like I'm not working it's really for interesting Uber's, yeah. do you want to tell them yeah so for me I would recommend you if you're not focused only on money and if you want to focus uh, your profile and if you're planning to do something creative in your life and if you want to add some values mm -hmm. on a CV so uh, like there are some opportunities in Warsaw in Poland you'll get there are some student organizations some student club few of them are international and at the end they won't pay you anything but yeah it will add some uh, values some qualities like some leadership skills some you can say language skills and you can say uh, some interpersonal soft skills that you will get to know while working with such organizations and you will develop a feeling that you are doing something really great like for example right. student of 18 or 19 years old I mean the age of 18 or 19 or maybe 20 or 22 became the vice president or president of a student club so it reflects a very good leadership skills Absolutely. yeah so right. that would be my recommendation there are ISEC, there are STAR, there are ESN people work for them and they 
make something different right, in their life. Right. Yeah. Very important observation what you just said because, you know, if you're coming abroad for business study, especially masters, you, you're preparing yourself to be leaders for tomorrow. And leadership doesn't start as soon as you have the degree in, in your hand. It starts right here while you're studying, how you're participating in the class, how are you participating in the projects, what, what kind of networking events are you uh, attending outside in the city, right? Yeah. I mean, this is what, soft skills are the hardest to learn, again. Degree and all these studies will enable you with a lot of opportunities, open a lot of doors, let you put one of your foot inside the company. But what you do after that, that's what matters a lot here. Okay. Um, what are your recommendations? Since we are talking solely on the lines of career and yeah. you know bigger goal, bigger picture we are talking here now, not quick, quick wins here. Yeah. We are talking about long-term investment into something which you never had before. Right? So if you are planning for working in Uber Eats or some restaurants then it won't help you for developing your skills and profile. So that will be only short term goal and you will be only like earning money and you will be happy for like short period of time. And if you are planning to become a CEO or maybe you want to start your own company or maybe you want to lead something. So for that you have to have an international experience and also you have to learn a lot of things which you will learn after coming to Poland, after coming to Europe. So I would recommend people to join some student clubs to develop some leadership skills to to, de to develop some qualities, which will be helpful for them uh, in their future for right. their career. Yeah. Right. Right. All right, guys. So on this note, uh, we'd like to say goodbye. Thank you so much for coming yeah, on my channel. Thanks a lot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, don't go without hitting that subscribe button, like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.